All right, in this video, we're going to discuss the fundamentals of sketching and eventually drawing, but we're going to start with sketching. All right, we're going to specifically, you know, cover sketching as it relates to, you know, woodcrafting here. All right, so what we have here is a, you know, just a normal box, square, that type of thing. And uh, it would have two dimensions to it. And a lot of times this is okay in woodcrafting because the thickness in this case or the depth of this particular object is, it's assumed, all right? It's very well known. So we don't really have to, in this case, in a two-dimensional two drawing, have to show the depth. But what dimensions are we showing here? Well, right here, this vertical dimension right here is going to be the height. And then this horizontal dimension right here is going to be the width. All right. So why do we call it 2D? Because it shows two dimensions. In this case, we have width and height. As I was mentioned earlier, sometimes it's okay just to have a two-dimensional drawing. Again, that third dimension is assumed. All right. Here is an example of a, a sketch of our door. Our door is eventually made up of five parts. It could be made up of more if you want to customize it, but five parts, A, B, C, D, and that, which I'm going to call P. All right. Um, in this particular sketch, it's, like I said, it's okay to have those two dimensions here. And again, this vertical, all right, dimension would be, this vertical dimension would be height. And of course, the width going horizontally. Okay. All right, now let's move on to three-dimensional sketches, and then eventually drawings. Okay, in woodcrafting, a lot of times we're going to be creating uh, drawing sketches in three dimensions. Uh, if you take a look at this cube up here, uh, typically we see these three surfaces. All right, so if we take a cube, maybe such as a dice, that type of thing, here we have the front view. Okay, the front view is defined by the height and the width. And remember, those are vertical or horizontal. Height is vertical, width is horizontal. Uh, we do have a side view. The side view represents height and then depth. Now, as far as the depth goes, okay, that's going to be some arbitrary uh, number visually in woodcrafting. We kind of make, you know, our depth work out, right, because we can't necessarily specify a certain distance and depth, okay, because we're writing on paper. All right, and then of course we have the top. Top is defined by the width and the, the depth, okay. So kind of starting with a block here, so how do I convert this into a three-dimensional drawing? So if it was a wood block, I would take my depth and approximately at a 45 degree angle start at each one of these corners and create a line at approximately 45 degrees. All of them are going to be the same angle. So these two lines, all right, this top line, bottom line represent, uh, again, the top and bottom, but they are parallel, okay, but they represent depth. Now the line that I'm going to create right now, that's going to represent the height. In this particular line, in this one right here, the front edge and back line, those two lines technically are going to be the same length. All right, and then this horizontal line that I'm creating here, not a perfect one by any means because I'm holding the camera and trying to get this to work out, but that line is horizontal and would be parallel with these two other lines here. All right, so which dimensions are we showing on each one of these views or surfaces? Here is our height on that vertical line. Uh, we would say height here as well as on our side view. All right. Uh, I am going to show width right here. Again, that is going to be a horizontal measurement. And then, of course, width is displayed on the top value or top surface as well. All right, so let's talk about depth. Depth is going to be represented on the side and on the top. Not the prettiest of sketches because I'm doing this over a phone, 
but each surface is going to be represented by two dimensions. All right, let's have you try this now. All right, so why don't you take a piece of paper and a pencil here and then just draw a box like you see here and then convert that into a three-dimensional drawing just like I showed you above. All right, do you get something that looks like that? Again, this is a sketch. Our lines are relatively crude, but nonetheless, hey, we just created a three-dimensional sketch. All right, let's see what you can do with these six front views and make them into a three-dimensional object. All right, so if we start in the upper left, we have a what looks like a house, okay? And then a couple L-shaped objects, and then we have a square donut. Like the can, well, the can really there is uh, really a cylinder, a three-dimensional cylinder drawing. So that's really kind of given to, to you. But nonetheless, I thought I'd throw that out to you. And then a, another box here, but I'm going to consider this kind of like a thin board. So each one of these, I want you to represent the depth of the house, the depth of those L-shaped objects, the donut, and so on. So make a three-dimensional drawing. How deep you go as far as the depth is up to you. All right, I'm just kind of curious to see what you can do with this. You know, ultimately, I want this on one piece of paper. So if you can organize it much like you see here, I'd appreciate it because eventually I'm going to ask you to take a photo of it and then just submit it so I can see how you're doing.